Oh, hello, Anigros and the Frenchers. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on today's menu, we'll be taking a look at new Sun and Moon cards that you are getting tomorrow. So, here it is on January 20th. Friday, you're gonna get three new theme decks in the shop. Four Shadows, Roaring Heat, Bright Side. They're just theme deck sounding names. So, inside these theme decks are gonna be cards you will find valuable. We'll talk about that a bit, but let's take a look at, you know, the cover Pokemons, Decidueye, Incineroar, Free Marina, the three Alolan starters. Hey, they're not GX. Psh, hey, but take a look. February, when you pull them out the booster packs, you already have the free evolutions ready to go. But Donald, I want to use these current Alolan starters. Can I do that? I don't see why not. I mean, with the Situi, Forest of Giant Plants, get them on turn one. Only needs one energy to attack. 30 to 60 damage? That's pretty good for one energy. With a DCE, the following turn, Brave Bird, 120. That's two shot potential. Yeah, you can nail uh, something with 240 hit points with that. Ooh, okay, he does hurt himself, but. I'm sure there are ways to uh, work with that. So, how about Incineroar? I want to make Incineroar deck. Can I do it? Hmm. 160 hit points, EX level, Fire Fang, 30 damage, always burns. Always does 20 bonus damage for a total of 50. Flip a coins if tails. They are going to keep taking 20 damage between turns. And you know how uh, your luck can go. Hmm, okay. So, a very cheap early first attack for two energies. Three energies. Oh, you can't use DZ, but it does an average of 100 damage. Here's how it really works. Flip two coins, every heads, it was 100 damage. Sometimes you're going to do, most of the times you're going to do 100 damage. Sometimes zero, sometimes 200. Hmm, Donald, that's, that's not 240 like the Sidui, but where can I get that bonus damage? Every single theme deck is going to have a card that help, will help you with that. We'll talk about that in a bit. So, last card is Primarina. I really love Primarina. Uh, well, can I make it work? Yeah! This arming voice always confuses. Always puts a condition where they have a half chance to miss. You know, that can be a game changer. Especially when it blocks a powerful attack. Sparkling area. Oh! Just like in Cinder, where you have 100 base damage. You need a little bit extra, which you will get. We're going to have to talk about that card right now. But let's see. It does a bit of healing itself. 30 damage added with... Let's see. What's it called? Rough Seas. There we go. You're going to have very heavy healing free marina. So you really want to make these work? I'll show you how. So moving on. What is that card that you keep talking about, Donald? It is going to be right there. Professor Kukui. You draw two cards. <laughs> That's not even Tiano but you do 20 more damage to your opponent's active. Many, many games. You play them where you see, dang, if only I had 20 more damage, if only my Mega Scissors had 20 more damage, or something along that line, it would have got the one-shot KO. So, now this is upgrade. You get two cards over, say, Giovanni, where you got nothing. So, are you going to put one or two in your deck now? Okay, and another potential supporter, Lily. Yeah, you draw until you have six cards. That's Shaman right there. No shuffling, no discarding. Sometimes Lily may be the better choice. You may squeeze your deck, and we're going to find out if, you know, how good she is. And in fact, if you get her on your first turns, that's eight cards. Potentially being able to beat Sycamore and N if you land the right card. So, another fun supporter to work with. Now, there are going to be two items that are going to be very useful that comes in all the theme decks as well, which is the same with the supporters. One of them is Nest Ball, the other is Timer Ball. One basic, one evolution. So, Volcanion, that's an all basic deck. Giratina, all basic deck. Persimmon, which we'll talk about, all basic deck. We may be able to work with that. Yeah, you put them straight on your bench, no shame. But you don't have to discard two cards, which works with Shaman. So I'm definitely going to be using some of these. Timer Ball. If you've seen Eva Soda, 
and any of my decks switch it for out for this. It is an upgrade. We'll definitely be using it in the future. Flip two coins for every heads. That's an evolution card in your hand. Average of one, which is still good, but you get to pick any evolution card. Evil Soda locks you to the next one. Sometimes you got rare canyon, you don't need it. And what if, let's say, um, it has an ability. Crobat, Togekiss that you must proc it by playing it from your hand. This will work with it. This is better than Evil Soda. I definitely will be using it with a uh, especially Decidueye. So, and many other decks. What else? Those are the trainers. In each of the theme decks, you will still find Pokemon that can augment some of your decks. Let's take a look at one that fits in all of them. Pinsir, one double colorless energy, two of any energy cards. Flip a coin. But if heads, their active Pokemon goes straight back into their hand. So if you spent time setting up your Mewtwo, evolving it, loading up with energies, you're going to have to do it all over again. Especially if it's a tougher uh, card to set up, the tougher it is, the bigger they fall. And, hey, what happens if you play N next turn? Oh, you gotta find those cards again, so... It can change the game. That heads will change the game. Shionic. This is... Well, they're both grass Pokemon. They're in the Decidueye uh, theme deck. So, what does this do? Luminescence ability. You get a free Ultra Ball. You can search your deck for any grass Pokemon you want. Put into your hand. Now remember what Forest of Giant Plant does. It bubbles straight away. This will really help you set up those grass decks. So, because you're gonna get any grass Pokemon you want for free. Ah, uh, so gotta look back at the grass so and see how this squeezes in. So, what else? Both of those were grass. They came in the Decidueye theme deck right here. We see uh, sh what's really small, Shionic and Pincers. One Shinonic. Shinonic. There we go. Two pincers. In Incineroar's theme deck, Passimian and Rangaroo. This is probably the best one. Let me show you. So, take a look at Passimian. Team play. This 10 base damage, but 30 more for every Passimian on your bench. That's kind of like a mini Rayquaza, a mini Rainbow Row. Yeah, so it's a basic. You could put a Fighting Fury belt. 150 hit points. 10 bonus damage is the easiest to set this up. Say Bridget. Say Nest Balls. Yeah, it's a fighting Pokemon. Strong energies for the 20 damage boost. Reggie Rock for the, well, 10 damage boost. But you can stack them up easily because it's basic too. And what if you use Mew? Now you can have four Basimians on the bench. That's going to be, uh, let's see, 130 damage Mew without any uh, other bows. Boosts, yeah. So, this is one deck that I'm really looking forward to. What else? The Orangaroo. Ooh, this is like a knockoff sushi mess. We'll have to see how this does. But overall, through the course of the game, he'll be able to fish you cards here and there. If you have less than three cards, you could use this once. You can draw until you have three cards. So, if you ever been really, really stuck, somebody ends you right when you're, you need a certain card, use Orangaroo. He can fit into any deck, so we'll have to practice with them and see uh, you know, how potent he is. But he's very easy to set up, so we'll keep an eye out. So what else? Ah uh, yes, the water deck, Brion, comes with a gold duck. Yeah, why is this gold duck good? One energy, 120 damage. You must discard two water cheese in your hand. But one energy, 122 shot potential. Man, this uh, this Decidueye here, he's gonna be very uh, very jealous. The thing is, you must discard the two water energies. So how do you get that back? Ah, remember Starmie from Evolutions? You have to discard any card from your hand, get two water energies back. You're gonna be able to use this over and over. Remember, there's Gold Duck Break. So you're going to have a very nice ability. So whoever you're using Golduck with is going to be very happy with this. So we definitely have to revisit Golduck now. Golduck and Persimian. What else? Oh, I just left this here because you do not have the stage twos. They would have been fun to play with before uh, Sun and Moon was released. But hey, the Echo Voice 2 Cannon, the Rock Cannon Giga Lift, and the uh, Stoutland, which the stage twos, they're not there. 
but the stage ones are. So in the future, there'll be a uh, fun decks to work with. But still, I mean, if you're not interested in these Pokemons, you can still get the new trainers. Be ready ahead of time. So that's all for tomorrow. I hope uh, this video helps you out in some way, maybe uh, some deck ideas, some ways to change your up your own deck. So that is it. Thank you very much, Integrals of Friendship. See you back in my kitchen next time for more Sun and Moon content. Thank you. Bye-bye.